don't believe that humans invented the internet. I think the internet is ancient, millions or billions of years old. But I don't think invention as a concept exists. All you're doing is discovery. What we call an invention is really just discovering that certain parts and certain components can be put together or transformed to produce something else. Technology is not a path or progression. It just happened to progress a certain way in human history. But all of the materials or the prerequisite materials exist in the world. A caveman could have built a phone one million years ago. So all invention is discovery. We didn't invent that light waves and radio waves can store bits of information and that you can send those across distances or through cables. Because the internet is so old and primordial, it's no surprise that there can be a lot of strange phenomena. Things like your thoughts affecting the algorithm or your mood changing the behaviors of people interacting with you. And various other things such as synchronicities and noetics. Things I usually just call technomancy. There's other strange occurrences as well, such as haunted websites or the feeling of being watched or feeling that there's a presence. Malfunctions and glitches that can occur through a seemingly unrelated set of circumstances. For example, some people seem to always have technology go wrong around them, while others seem to never have an issue. Sometimes Wi-Fi signals just don't work well around people. Within this cyberspace or the internet, you have things like the deep web and the dark web. The World Wide Web is just our interaction with this internet, so this cyberspace. I believe there are very old entities that can exist within the internet. These entities have ways of organically accessing the internet. Probably not unlike Neuralink, just minus the technological hardware. Ultimately, I believe that these entities are microorganisms. The internet that we use is the same one that goes on through the mycorrhizal network in forests. It's just light wavelengths and electrical pulses. Those forest nets are just one example. All kinds of other microorganisms have access to the internet. Because they are accessing it organically, they're living, intelligent creatures. They're having a different experience than we are on it. But the previous phenomena we just talked about is catalyzed through our microbiome's interaction with the internet. By extension, this associates us with these different experiences and interactions. It may help us to understand this through memes. Certain memes are essentially coded through microorganisms. The catalyst for cat memes and cat videos on the internet is probably Toxoplasma gondii. There's a variety of amoebas, protozoans, parasites, fungals, bacteria, all possible subconscious contributors to something that gets popular, which is called going viral. So these entities that can exist in the internet, some of them can live within us as well. Recently, the kinds of things that go viral are usually very degrading, degenerate, or violent. These probably could be linked to specific organisms. And remember, the gut-brain axis is a two-way communication system. These entities feed information to you, and you're feeding information back to them. Whether you're aware of that information or it's subliminal. So something that's parasite-coded is going to have an effect to slowly alter you towards that behavior. One recent viral meme I've been seeing a lot of is reaching for a cop's gun. That kind of meme reinforces or even teaches certain parasites that are associated with self-harm and violent or risky behavior. But beyond that, you have different ideologies, information, and just the whole dynamic of the psychosocial interaction with the internet. Certain trends, beliefs, and behaviors are likely linked in many ways through microorganisms and the people that may share those kinds of microorganisms. Someone may identify with something on the internet due to similar microbiome compositions or similar types of parasitic infections. The internet or cyberspace is not some abstract ether, but very much tied to all of the physical, emotional, and spiritual or microbial aspects of life and nature.